Hey guys! Um, so today's video is going to be about, there I am looking off into the side, like I do it every time, every time I'm just like, <laughs> um, okay, so today I'm going to show you guys what is in a beach bag. Yeah, so, um, and yeah, so I thought I would go ahead and share with you guys what I take to the beach with me, and this is kind of like a coincidence I'm doing this video because next week I'm actually going to go to the beach. So, yeah, I'll just be kind of like showing you guys what is going to come along with me, and, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'll just go ahead and... Let's get into the, um, I don't really know if you call this tutorial or not, I guess so, or just like, um, I guess you just call it, this is what, is it my beach bag? Okay, anyways, so this is my beach bag, and it says love on it, and it's black, and it's just like, it's, you can kind of tell what kind of material it is, it feels almost like a leather, but not a leather, I don't know, it's just really, um, feels waterproof, I guess. And um, I'll show you the inside once I get everything out of it because it's like packed full of junk. So, <laughs> um, okay, so I have obviously one of the things I would take to the beach with me is a hat. What up? <laughs> yeah, so um, I don't know. I just like to have um, a hat with me at the beach so I can keep the sun out of my face. And um, I don't know, just very um, fashionable and it's good piece of accessory to have, I guess, when you go to the beach, so you could just, like, style it up and, I don't know, just look cute, I guess. So, yeah, this is my hat that I have, and it's just a, I don't even remember where I got this hat, I think it was just, like, a little cheap hat that I got, and it has a peace sign on it. I'm really big on the peace sign, as you can tell, I like peace signs, and, yeah, so I would have a hat with me, and, um, Next thing I would have in my beach bag would be some tanning lotion. And I know a lot of people that I watched, it's like one thing I never saw that a lot of people took with them to the beach was tanning lotion. And you know, um, the sun is very bad for your skin. And I'm like one of those people that, maybe you can see me better like this. It's thundering too right now, I hope it doesn't lightning. But I am like one of those people that does not burn very easily. I have very easy tanning like skin and when I get older I'm probably going to regret laying in the sun and tanning and all that. But for right now I'm really into being tanned for the summertime. So um, yeah, tanning lotion is something that I would definitely take down to the beach with me. And this tanning lotion is just some cheap it's like the oil kind which I think works the best for me it tans really good and really fast and this smells really good I'm not really sure I think this was my mom's but I found it in there and um didn't really know where she got this or anything but usually the Hawaiian Tropic brand you can get at Walmart or anywhere and it's normally a really pretty good brand and yeah so that's the tan lotion um this next thing I got is actually called H2O Ocean and this is just something that I bring along because I have my belly done so this here would probably be good if I got sand or dirt or just if this here would just eliminate all the germs so I would spray this on my belly piercing or my I guess you could use it you could use it for any piercing that you have and it will kill the germs and It'll keep it from getting infected, so this stuff here is definitely a must-have. Um, $15 for this, and I got this at a local tattoo and piercing place, so you can probably find this at one of those locations. Um, obviously, a bathing suit would be my next thing that I would take with me, or I'll probably have a bathing suit on before I go. And actually, the thing that I'm wearing now... Just a really cute, colorful dress, and I glittered it up with a really nice gold necklace and some bracelets. But, um, yeah. I really like this. I got this dress at Kohl's when I went there the other day, and it was on sale for, like, $12, I think. And it's just a really cute little dress that you can wear over top of your bathing suit. So I just thought that was really cute. So I got that. And... 
So yeah, this is one of my bathing suits I got. I think I got this one at Walmart, so it was like a really cheap bathing suit. Um, but when I'm going to the beach, I don't need to be fancy or prettied up or anything, because I'm going to get wet and dirty and all that stuff, so what's the point? But yeah, this is really, I just like colorful stuff. And yeah, that's what my bathing suit looks like. Obviously, when I go to the beach, sometimes I'll like to pull my hair up out of my face because it'll be really windy. I don't know, it seems like every time I go to the ocean, it's so windy. And there's just like stuff blowing around and sand hitting you in the face. And I just really like to keep my hair out of my face, so I'll just bring some like hair clips and hair breaths to fix that problem. Um, this thing I got here is just like a, a cover up, I guess. Kind of like what I have on now to dress. But this one is really cute. I don't even really remember where I got this. But, um, yeah, it looks like this. You can't really see it. But it's just really cute, and, um, it's got some riffles on the bottom, and then if you wanted to stick anything, like your phone or just anything in here, you could have little pockets. I don't know, and I just think it's really cute, and it's really pretty blue. So, yeah, that also you could wear over your bathing suit, which I'll probably definitely take with me. Um, gotta have the shades. Definitely need to have sunglasses when I go to the beach because it's so sunny there. Well, let's hope it's going to be sunny there. I hate the beach when it's so rainy and stuff. As if it's raining right now. It really sucks. But, um, yeah, I'm really hoping it doesn't rain at the beach and I hope it's sunny. So these will come in good use for me. And my sunglasses ain't nothing special, they're just a cheap pair that I think I got at the Fashion Bug, I think that's where I got them. And they just got some jewelings on the side, and yeah. So, that's my sunglasses. This stuff here, I am literally in love with. It is called Pink, and I got this at Bath and Body Works, and, um, or no, I'm lying to you. I got this at Victoria's Secret. I'm so retarded. I should have known that um, pink is from Victoria's Secret. I was just thinking that I got this from there. But no, I got this from Victoria's Secret, but I love this stuff. It is awesome. It smells so good. It's pink with a splash of fresh and fierce body mist. So yeah, this stuff will smell you good. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. It will smell you up good. Protection, I guess you could say. Protection deodorant, you know, because when you're at the beach you're going to get all sweaty and moist and, yeah, you know, it's always good to have deodorant. So, beach towel, obviously. Um, comb. Comb's probably good to have if you just want to touch your hair up at the beach. Whatever. So, a comb's probably definitely good to have. Um, other thing that I got in here, I love this stuff. It's really good. It is Hawaiian Tropic Lime Colada and it's After Sun Moisturizer. So, like, you put this on, like, after you get out of the shower or when your skin's really feeling dry, you put this on and it'll just moisturize your skin and give you that feeling, like, where you're not so dry and itchy. And it's really good stuff and it also smells really good. So, I recommend some of this. And I have this other stuff in here too. It's kind of like the same thing. I have not even used this. It's called Allen Mango. And it's also by Hawaiian Tropic. And it's a spray kind. So it isn't like lotion. You just spray this on you. <laughs> so finally, I finally reached the bottom of my beach bag. I got too much junk in here. Um, I have some lotion in here. This is from Bath and Body Works. This is just... Um, it's an antibacterial moisturizing hand lotion, actually, which when I go to the beach, I know I get really dry in my hands. I hate when my hands are dry. Like, I just like to keep them moisturized, and this is pretty good with that, and also it's killing germs, so that's a plus. So, yeah, I got that, and finally reached the bottom, but this is what the inside looks like. It's really pretty pink. And it's also like a waterproof material inside, which is also very nice to have. Because if you want to have put your wet towel back in here, it's not going to get all nasty and slimy and all that. It's just going to be like a waterproof, so it's not going to get all funky in there. So that's plus. 
So it has this really cool couple little pockets in there, as you can see. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, I got this bag at Kmart on sale for $16.99. And I have a little clip-on hand sanitizer, too. It's a must-take to the beach. Have some hand sanitizer. But yeah, anyways, so that's where I got my bag at Kmart. And in the pockets, I just have, like, my little wallet. I love these wallets. You can get these wallets at Walmart or pretty much probably any place like that. It's called that Illumini wallet. I think it was like an as seen on TV product or something. And I'm like the type of person that like when I see something on TV, I'm like, hmm, I want to try that. Or I'm like that type of person, so I'm always trying new stuff. But I really like this because you can hold all of your cards and everything. And I just think, I don't know. And I just think it's pretty and it's cute and it's shiny and it goes right in the little pocket. So it works. Then, of course, I got my MP3 player and headphones I got somewhere. I lost them. I don't know where they are right now. But if I want to listen to music, and I am, like, obsessed with my MP3 player. I take it outside with me all the time and in the car with me. And then, obviously, my cell phone if I want. Dang, it's 3 o'clock already. But yeah, I take my phone with me. If I want to text some people or talk to somebody or play games, get on the internet, phone goes everywhere. I feel lost without my phone. Um, so that's that. Gosh, God. Um, some stuff that I got in this other little pocket in here is just little things. Um, I recommend trying this stuff out, and it's really cheap. It's only like three something I think I got this at Walmart and it's called baby lips and I think I got what flavor did I get I don't know it doesn't say oh just the the cherry me it's called cherry me and it looks like that so it's this really pretty red color and I love this stuff it smells like cherries it actually smells like cherries and when you put it on your lips it's got like that cherry taste in and everything. It's just really good and it's a really good moisturizer and I really just like it. And it was so cheap. And it was by Maybelline New York. So I like this stuff. Also, I have just some things like when I go to the beach, I like to have like little snacks. So I'll take like a bag of peanuts or a water or things like that. So um, I'm really obsessed with cinnamon flavored things like fireballs and stuff like that and I like got these in here they fit perfectly down in the little pockets so got me some Altoids because I'm really obsessed with cinnamon stuff um also have this kiss of protection sun protection lip SPF 30 so this will be good for your lips when you're at the beach exposed to the sun all day lips are feeling dry and really just chapped and everything this here will definitely heal that process up it's just a clear little like lip butter that you put on and it's, it's protection from the sun so and it don't smell bad either I can't even really explain what it smells like but it doesn't smell bad so that and I have my little compact mirror which I think this one's really cute she's got some jewel detailing I, just, I like shiny stuff so god I can't even open it but yeah, when you open it up, it's like hearts. It's this little heart compact mirror. So, like, when I go to the beach, just like to check things out. Now, normally when I go down to the beach, unless I'm going down, like, in the evening time when I'm not going to go swimming or anything like that, I might put makeup on if we're going to take pictures or go out or something like that. But normally when I go to the beach to go get in the water or lay in the sun or anything like that I normally don't put makeup on because it's just gonna mainly wash and smear everywhere anyways so normally I don't like carry makeup down to the beach with me but like lip gloss and stuff like that I like to have so um yeah I think that pretty much covered everything in my beach bag so I hope you guys Holy shit, I probably won't be posting this video. It's really long. Wow. So yeah, hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.